welcome to Bob TV. This is your boy, Robert Bob TV Brown. Welcome to Freedom on Fire. What's up? Look, I want to talk about something that really kind of offended me. Um, President Obama speaking to the CBC. You know how I feel about the CBC. I told you about this before. Um, right now, they're not Congressional Black Caucus. A lot of them are acting like uh, little animals, little, little, little striped tails. You call them raccoons? <laughs> Anyway, uh, I called him the We Sick Boss Crew. Go look at Malcolm X, YouTube, Mal YouTube Malcolm X story on the House Negro and you would know what I'm talking about. That's the CBC currently at this moment. And sad to say in some cases, sometimes that's President Obama. Anyway, let me get on this. I'm offended for the simple fact that during that caucus, during that uh, meeting, that dinner, his last one, his great sin-off, where he said, I will be insulted. I will take it a personal insult if the black community don't come out and turn out and vote. Secretly, he was saying, for Hillary Clinton. He didn't say it, but look, I, and I believe, I, I'm with him. If you don't come out and vote, that will be an insult to yourself. Forget about his legacy. He's messing up his legacy as we speak with denying the 911 victims opportunity to um, sue the Saudis. He kissing up to the Saudis and threw the 911 victims under the bus. Tim Kaine kiss up to the um, uh, um, um, the pharmaceutical industry, industry and the uh, medical industry, and took didn't even vote for the public option, throwing millions of people under the bus when it comes to health care. Too many Democrats are selling out. Because of this, big money interest. Some people call them corporate whores. I prefer corporate prostitute. They, you give it up, give me the money, and I give it up. I give up my moral values and everything. What I normally should be standing for, I give it up. Just give me the money. This is going on from Clinton on down. Obama's been doing that lately too. Anyway, he had the nerves to talk about election fraud. For you to get up on that screen, and you talk about the blatant election fraud that the Republicans doing, that you and your party have been doing, not you, but your party have been doing all during the primaries, ridding, uh, ripping up and taking and taking away from the Bernie Sanders supporters who worked so hard out in that campaign in the hot sun, rallying people, getting people registered to vote to bring people into your party for this man. Those people not standing in the party no more because of what you did. You turned a blind eye, turned your back. I don't see nothing, Doc. I don't see nothing. It's like a man going to rob another lady and you standing right there like, look, I'm Please don't shoot me. That's what you, President Obama did. Turned his back on election fraud all during the primaries. And now you want to talk about it now? You want to open your mouth now. I did a video, go look at it on YouTube. President Obama, are you blind to election fraud? You, the Black Caucus, John, John Lewis, and shame on you, John Lewis. You go and you go and campaign for her. And Obama, shame on you. You endorsed Debbie Wasserman Schultz. She was caught up in her collusion and had to step down from the DNC. I guess you asked her to. What, to save face, to not offend Bernie Sanders supporters, to make this uh, event, this DNC farce of a convention uh, uh, look good? It didn't work. You shammed it on TV to try to make it seem like we were all together. We were not all together, people. I was there. It didn't work. And shame on you for you to talk about it now because the Republicans may do it to your golden girl, but you weren't saying it about your golden girl and, and, and uh, Bernie Sanders when they was running in competition with each other. You gonna mention anything about the personal role and you're not gonna address the personal role in New York City? The personal role in Arizona? The person of the role in Nevada, Doc, shame on you, man. Shame on you. That's a punk sellout move. You, you, bad enough you didn't do anything for black people. You did any, every, any and everything for every other person, but you do, didn't, did not, didn't do nothing personally for black people personally. You did something to help black people. Appreciate you for that, Doc. Doc. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you for a lot of things and I love you and I, and I pray for you. But I got to call a spade a spade. I got to call a punk move a punk move. And for what you've been doing with the 911 victims and Tim Kaine and all this stuff, punk move. But this is really a punk move. Punk move to talk about it now, but you wouldn't talk about it then. You should have been standing at that convention calling it a farce, a sham, and we need to just go in the meeting. Stop all this. Let's go in the meeting because this is wrong to the American people. We're shamming these people. But your pride is in the way. 
And all you think about is your pride and you think you're smarter than everybody and you're not. Just because you're president don't mean you're smarter than everybody. For you to say that, sir. Shame. On you. I call it hypocritical. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. You have a lot of hypocrisy going on with you, Mr. President. I was begging for you to say something about it. The Bernie Sanders supporters were begging you to say something about it. And Bernie Sanders, I'm going to get on you. You should have been saying something about it. You should have called it a farce and just upended the whole thing. But you didn't do it. You punked out. We got too many punk out politicians around here who ain't got no guts. Who ain't got no political gonads. And now you're hopping along on a Hillary Clinton horse. Do, 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 do. She's the best one. Do, 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 do. We got to stop Trump. Do, 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 woo. Do, 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 do. When she robbed you, stabbed you in the back, they robbed you, stabbed you in the back, and you going to let that happen to you, Mr. Tough Guy? You can get in Goldman Sachs behind. You can get in the federal chair behind. But you can't get in the behind of the Democratic Party who robbed you out of the election, man, and it's proven, and they got proof, and you know this. But you're going to be that water boy? Come on, Sanders. I know you ain't no punk. Come on, man. You need to rescind your endorsement. That's a tough guy move. I rescind my endorsement. I'm ashamed of this party. They cheated me. It was caught on tape, pretty much. It was caught on record. They played this. They played this the whole time from the jump start. I think Debbie Wasserman Schultz need to resign from politics. But you too punk to do it. You'd rather get on your horse. Do, 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 do. Hillary Clinton is better than Trump. Trump, 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 Trump. Nobody think about Trump. Trump a punk, man. He ain't gonna do jack. You're trying to make us think he's gonna do that. He's not gonna do jack. Anyway, I'm done. For you, Mr. President, when I said this about six a month ago, why are you blind to election fraud when it's in your face all over the place? Why you want to talk about it now? Because your girl is running. And you need your girl to run because you're scared your legacy is going to be turned over by Donald Trump. Now, I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. He is one of the worst presidential candidates. And he should not be running. And y'all mocked and laughed this man, but for some reason, he's now. I don't know how. He did it legally. He didn't cheat like the DNC did. I don't know how. Maybe there was a purpose and plan for this. I don't know how he ended up being a Republican nominee, but most important, I don't know how he's been the so-called most qualified politician running today. She ain't more qualified than my fraud, which I don't have one. So get out of here. And nobody can prove to me, and I'll chop you down and tell you she's not qualified. Come on. Holding a position don't qualify you. It's what you did when you held that position to qualify you for the next position. So shame on you, sir. You should not open your mouth for the rest of this election at all about election fraud when you didn't do it in the primary. Shame on you. Man, he said, boy, you getting the president behind like that? Man, yo, I'm a man just like anybody else. He got it. He going... He died just like any other human being. He go in the bathroom and poop. There's no special sitting down technique for the president when he go in there and poop and there's, then you are mine. He stand up and pee just like I do. I don't know, maybe he do sit down and pee like Larry David. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but he's human, just like me and you. And I believe in the higher being, you may not, but when, in my faith, when I go stand before the higher being, he's not gonna ask me what I did at president or what I did on my job. He gonna ask me what did I do personally for people and how I live my life. He gonna show me my record. He's not gonna look at you as president and boss Jones and all. He's gonna look at you as his child. Let me stop, I'm not here to be a preacher, but look, shame on you, President Obama. You should never, never, ever, ever, ever mention election fraud. You disqualified yourself for mentioning anything about election fraud when you turned a blind eye to election fraud going on in an election, all because they were doing it for your girl and subliminally you approved of it.
Why? How, how did you prove for it? By you not saying anything about it. Shame on you. Shame on John Lewis. Shame on the CBC. We're black people who fought and died for people to have the freedom to vote and not be violated, not be purged from the roll, not have the polling stations be shut down, not have an old lady who normally go two blocks to the vote, go halfway across town in New York City to go vote, which I've experienced that. I'm Bob TV. Shame on you, President. Don't talk about election fraud no more. Go back to work, man. Get your executive order on. Stop campaigning. You're using our tax dollars to go out there and campaign for people, man. Stop that, man. That's a violation uh, of misappropriate funds. It's not your job to go campaign uh, on a plane or nothing like that. I don't know. Maybe you're not using the presidential plane. Maybe you're riding on her plane. I don't know. But you need to be in office. You need to be doing some executive orders. Go out with a bank. Executive order $15 an hour. Executive order health, um, free health care temporarily for, uh, you know, until the lame duck session is over. Do some big, man. Stop messing with that, man. Take your hand off that. She's a bad candidate. And you're going to mess up your legacy trying to help her out. Let's get back to work, man. Let's get some work done. People are starving. Give $15 hours across the board. Go sign it as an executive order. Do something big. That's big. Let's go. Get back to work. Get back to the Oval Office and let's rock and roll. And keep your mouth off elections.